Hi, this is Rick, and you're in the Whiskey Zone, where we celebrate the spirit of the spirit. Let me just say this. If you get to Edinburgh, you have got to go to Cadenheads, which is where we're going next. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with the name, William Cadenhead is an independent whiskey bottler based in Campbelltown, Scotland, where all of their single malts are bottled. They also have several other shops in the UK, in London and Edinburgh, and I was fortunate to be able to visit the Edinburgh shop recently, where I picked up this 20-year-old Glenrothes Glenlivet single malt that's part of their authentic collection. This cask strength whiskey was distilled in 2001 and bottled at 49% ABV in the autumn of 2021. The whiskey has been matured in bourbon barrels. It's non-chill filtered and it has no coloring added. So the color is this beautiful deep gold and this spirit has some nice long legs. Let's start with the nose. So the first scent I get is something like sweet fruit in a heavy syrup. A butterscotch sauce. Mince pie, maybe because it's getting close to Christmas. Okay, now that I've started down the Christmas road, I guess it doesn't hurt to keep driving. This one's a really obscure reference, but it smells like the Dickens Christmas Fair. And nope. I'm not drunk, not yet. <laughs> I'm getting some citrus, maybe a tiny sprig of mint. Okay, I hope I'm not the only one that gets this, but model airplane glue, but obviously without the side effects. All right, obscure again, Bazooka Joe bubblegum. Well, that seems like a good jumping off point to move on to taste. Ignore the first one. So the initial taste screams cherry cough syrup to me. Sugar coated orange candy slices. Heading back to cherry, it's like Haagen Dazs cherry vanilla ice cream, which is one of my favorites. There's a little spice, kind of like uh, toasted orange peels. Coca-Cola or a vanilla Coke. I don't know who else can relate to this, but this is like the kind I used to get as a kid at the corner pharmacy soda fountain. Ah, it was so good. Ooh, and warm cinnamon rolls. The box that this whiskey comes in recommends adding a little water to it, but personally, I think it's quite flavorful all on its own, so I'm saying no to the water in this review. But obviously, you can do whatever you want. The finish is not very long, but it's quite pleasant, with what I would characterize as a malty sweetness. This is quite the tasty pour, if you can get your hands on it, with the sweeter Speyside notes playing a very nice mouth tune. Cadenhead produces some quality whiskeys, and this one easily falls into that category. I'm giving this 20-year-old Glenrothes Glenlivet a nine-finger pour. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Cadenhead's 20-year-old Glenrothes Glenlivet. If you'd like more details on my review, please visit thewhiskeyzone.com. And while you're here, I encourage you to comment, like, subscribe, and share. So until next time, drink smart, stay safe, and we'll see you again in the Whiskey Zone.